morning everyone, this is Peter Yosef, analyst at IronFX, bringing you the morning comment for the 15th of January. German Grand Coalition talks. You have searched on news that the CDU, CSU and SPT have reached a preliminary deal on forming a new Grand Coalition government. The deal would include a no tax increase pact and social relief programs. CDU, CSU are expected to pass the new coalition program easily, however the SPT could have a rough time. SPD's youth movement mobilizes to overturn such a grand coalition revival as they consider that the effect will be detrimental on the SPD and joint program released has too little in it for the SPD and that CDU, CSU cannot be trusted. SPD will have to pass the grand coalition through a national congress vote and its leadership may have a tough time convincing its base members. We see the case for the will of the SPT to take part in the new government to eventually overwhelm any objections of the party's youth movement and subdue any concerns of the member's base. The decision will have a bumpy ride though, offering new headlines of volatility. The EURUSD surged on the news on Friday and broke the 1.21 resistance line, now turned to support, aiming for the 1.2230 resistance level. We see the case for the pair to remain in a bullish mood in the absence of any US news, however in a more relaxed manner. The pair could prove sensitive in any further fundamental news, especially regarding the German government coalition front. It should be noted that the relative strength index has clearly passed above 70, signaling a possible overcrowded long position and a possible exit from such positions. Should the bulls remain in charge, the pair could break the 1.2230 resistance level and open the way for the 1.2355 resistance hurdle. Should the bears take the driver's seat, the pair could break the 1.21 support level and aim for the 1.20 support zone. Brexit bill to return to UK Parliament to, for vote. The UK Parliament is to vote on the Brexit bill this week and Theresa May may have a difficult time passing it. Tory rebels, Scottish First Minister and the Labour Party may overturn the bill and Theresa May may face a second defeat in Parliament. Labour Party and Scottish First Minister Nicola Sturgeon openly declared that they will oppose the bill. Media reports suggest, however, that former Tory rebels may this time let the bill pass and use the debate to send signals to the House of Lords as to the great majority there seems to be anti-Brexit. Meanwhile, rumors of a possible second Brexit referendum were stopped by the leader of the Labour Party by clearly stating that the Labour Party would not support such a scenario. We see the case that the implementation bill will find support from the Tory rebels, will be voted by the UK Parliament and passed on to the House of Lords. Again, there is going to be a bumpy ride with lots of headlines and GBP volatility. The cable rallied on Friday using a momentum of a weak US dollar, breaking both the 1.3620 resistance line now turned to support and the 1.3684 resistance line now also turned to support. We see the case for cable to continue in a bullish mood, however in a more relaxed manner. Having said that, it should be noted that the relative strength index has passed 70, signaling a possible overcrowded long position and a possible exit from such positions. Should the pair continue to remain under buying interest, it could break the 1.3784 resistance line and aim for the 1.3875 resistance hurdle. Should the pair come under selling interest, it could break the 1.3684 support level and aim for the 1.3620 resistance barrier. Other highlights of today. During the European morning, we get Eurozone's trade balance for November. And late into the US session, we get the New Zealand's electronic credit card sales for December. It may be a slow Monday today as the US celebrates Martin Luther King's Day and New Zealand Wellington's Day. For more information, please read the full comment on ironfx.com or download our app and get all the information you need to trade. Also, you can follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel or signal us on Google Plus to get more trading ideas. This is Peter Yosef, analyst at IronFX, wishing you solid trading.